hello welcome to the channel welcome to the video so this is odyssey junior in this video we are going to be looking at something very important so this is my channel as you can see we have a lot of videos here that you can check the channel and watch any of these videos this video a very interesting video that can help you to help you to get one or two ideas online so we post video here every single week we talk about my money online and also whatever i have tried that is working for me i tried i shared with you here also in order for you to try it and get same results so this channel has been made for every one of us to get good quality videos for ourselves in our, whatever we are doing so today's video we are going to be looking at how to install localhost wordpress in windows using xamp so it's going to be a step-by-step -step guide how to install localhost wordpress in windows using xamp so we are going to have five localhost wordpress and windows using zamp so we are going to have five steps in order for us to be able to achieve this so the step one of this video so it's going to be a step by step guide so the step one let's take the step one so the step one is going to be to download zamp and also wordpress from the internet so we just go to the internet well, we go to our browser, we search for wordpress.org, then we click on get now. So click on get now, you come down to this place, it will tell you download WordPress 6.171, depending on the, the time you are, you are watching this video. So it might be a higher version or it might still be this version. So once you click on download, so it should be able to be downloading. So I already have it in my system, so I might not be downloading now, I will just press it. Then the same thing happened to ZAMP. You go to ZAMP, just as for ZAMP, you see this ZAMP, you click on it. So once it open like this, then you come down. Then we are we are going to, we are using Windows, so we click on for Windows. Then once you click for Windows, you still come down. What's it all? Okay, you say what download we start automatically. If not, click here. So you click here for it to start downloading. So ZAMP should also start downloading. Okay, ZAMP has started downloading also. So ZAMP has started downloading. So I will also post this ZAMP because I think I also have ZAMP in my system. So but after ZAMP has finished downloading, you can see our ZAMP has started downloading and WordPress has started downloading. So after is both of them finished downloading then we can go to the second step. So the reason I just post both of them is because I don't need them. I think I have them in my system. I have them in my system. Okay, see ZAMP here. See ZAMP here. So once I double click on this, this is ZAMP. This is ZAMP. So this is how it will be. See ZAMP. So, but I, I don't need it now. So let's, let's just, just do you want to abort yes let me first of all so we have done the step one the step one is what to download zamp and wordpress from the internet so we have downloaded both of them remember once we click on this both of them downloaded so the step two let's see what the step two says please just stay to the end of this video so that you get this step by step if you miss any of the step you are surely going to miss out of this so the step two is what change this system setting so this is the place that people have very uh, have issue in terms of uh, running this app because like for instance now let me show you something once i want to run this app now there's something to tell me it will give me a notification so most people now they don't they don't uh, try to avoid this notification so they okay to tell you because an activated user account control because an activated user account control so it's telling you to deactivate this user account control. So how, how are you going to do it? All you need to do, come to this place. About yes. Okay. So you come to this place, to your search. You search for user. 
user account. So once you click on user account, it should be able to show you change user account control. You click on it. Then your own will be at the middle here. So all you need to do is take your own to the last place like this now. Take it to this last place and click on OK. So it must, you must take it from the, from the middle here to the last place now. You can see my own. It, it will be somewhere like this before. It will be somewhere like this before. So all you need to do, you bring it down to the here. It will tell you not recommended, but you don't need to mind that. You say, OK. That's how, how you do it now. So you change the user account setting because that is kind of uh, antivirus that is going to protect you from not installing ZAMP. So if you don't do that, that means now most of the files that is coming from the ZAMP will not be installed. So you must always go there, go to user account. User account. So you come to user account, you click on it. Then you take it down and click on what? OK for it to be deactivated so that it will not affect your ZAMP. So if you don't do it, definitely it's going to affect your ZAMP. So you don't need it to affect your ZAMP. So that's how you do what the step two, which is what change your system setting. So you have changed your system setting. Then we go to the next one, which is to run our ZAMP. The next one, which is to run our ZAMP. So let's run the ZAMP. So I already have my ZAMP, that my ZAMP has already been run on my system but i'm just going to show you how you can be able to run it right now so let's just do it now but i'm not going to run it to the end because i already have zamp installed in my system so all i'm going to do now is just to show you how you can be able to do it so it will tell you this so as far as you have been able to do it before all you need to do is just for you to as far as you have done it before you need to do it just to click on ok as far as you have deactivated the, the antivirus, which is user account settings. So all you need to do is OK. Then click on Next. Click on Next. Click on Next. It's telling me because this folder has been. So your own now, it will not show you this thing that it's showing me now. It will allow you to do Next, Next to the end. Then you just, just a one-way stuff. Then everything has been installed. That is how you run your installation for this. So it's, it just next 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 to the end the reason it's showing me this this message is because i've already installed it on my system like now if i come here now and i search for yes let me about it i come here now and search for zamp you can see now it has been installed before on my system so it might not allow me to install again all you need to do next 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 Next, 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 next. Once you do the next, 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 it will be able to just install. Then you, you will not have any issue installing it again. So that is how you can be able to run the installation. So let's go to the last, the fourth one. The first one, the fourth one said what? So the fourth one said we should. The fourth one said install WordPress on localhost so we are going to be installing our wordpress on localhost right now so let's see how we can be able to do it so remember you installed a file a wordpress file so look at how the wordpress file will look like it will be a zip folder like this so it will be a zip folder like this all you need to do just double click on this zip folder and you see the file that is inside remember what you did just double click on it then you see the zip folder that is inside the name WordPress. You double click on it, then you see this file inside. So the one you what you need to do is to copy this one that is inside. Copy it. You can also rename it like now. If I like now, we just rename it to if I like I can rename it to ODC. I can just copy it. Copy it. Then I can paste it here. I can just paste it on my desktop. So if I like like this, I paste it on my desktop and rename it. If I like, I can rename it to any name of my choice. Like for instance, now after pasting it, now we rename it to any name of my choice in order for me to show you that it can be renamed. So it does not mean that you can rename it to any name of your choice if you want. So I'm just waiting for it to. Uh, this I don't want this video to take much time. 
I just want this video to be sh as short as possible. So, dear listener, I think we are going to just do it from here so that we will not waste time. Let me just double click on it and I copy it from here. I'm going to use this one, copy. Then I'll come here. Then I come to local host. Just see the steps I'm taking. First of all, I copied it, this particular one that is inside. Look at me very well, what I did. I just double click on the, the folder. Then this one that is inside, I copied this one that is inside. Copied. Then I went to local host. Local disk, sorry. Local disk. I click on local disk. Then I look for where there is ZAMP. Double click on ZAMP. Then I look for HT DOS. CHT DOS. I double click on HT DOS. Then I will paste that WordPress file inside the HT DOS. So it will be pasted on HT DOS. So that is where I will paste the the installation, the file that I copied. So the file I copied, I will take it to this local disk. Remember the steps I took. Watch this video. You can watch this video two times or three times in order for you to be able to know how this thing works. So you can watch this video twice or three times. All you need to do, watch it the first time and watch it the second time and implement the way I'm implementing it. And if you have any question, please drop it at the comment section below. I will always be here to answer every of your question. And do I know that you have to subscribe to get awesome videos like this every single time. So we'll be waiting for you for your question. We'll be waiting for your response. to come back later I would have forced it to come back later but okay let's just wait for the next okay I think two get to three three four <laughs> so please do it to drop your comment at the comment section do it to drop your comment at the comment section please drop your comment at the comment section Drop your comment at the comment section so that we get. Drop your comment at the comment section. Okay, so we are done now. So we have done installing it to local our local disk. So what we are going to do next, we we'll go to our. <laughs> let's see the next thing we are going to do. The fifth thing we are going to do. So let's see what we are going to do. He said what? Create a database and conclude installation. So all we need to do now, let's go to our website. So what we need to do now, we search for PHP local this local host slash PHP my admin. You enter. Hey, sorry, 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 sorry. I made a mistake. Before now, I should have run my ZAMP. Run my ZAMP. So first of all, I should have run my ZAMP before going to the local host. So once you run the ZAMP, it should be able to show you like this. All you need to do, the first, the first one, you click on start on the first one. Then you click on start the second one also. So only two of them that we need to start. Every other one, the other three should not start. So once you click on both of them, start, start. It will tell you stop, stop, but you don't need to stop it. Then you minimize it. Minimize it this way. Then all we need to do now, we go to back to our browser and do the same thing. We'll put on localhost. Localhost. Slash PHP. PHP my admin. So you search for localhost slash PHP my admin. Enter. So now it should be able to open. Now it should be able to open. So it should be able to open now. Okay, so it has opened. So all we need to do now, we come here and create, click on new. We click on new. Then the name of the database, if to say my database name was changed, I would have changed the name here. 
but the database name we use was WordPress, so we write WordPress. WordPress. I hope we got the spelling. Let's check the. Okay, that's the name. You can also come here now. This is the database name they are asking for. So depending on the name that you use there, that's the name you use. Like this one now. This one now I use portfolio as the database name. This one now is WordPress. So depending on the name you used. So yeah, now I can just come here and paste that database name. Then I click on what creates. So they tell me now your your database has been created. So see my database now it has joined the database that we have here. So I will go to the next next tab and search for localhost localhost slash WordPress. I can just just paste. It should be localhost slash your database name. So localhost slash your database name. It will tell you uh, you just bring out this now. You just select English. Then you come down, continue. I tell you, let's go. Then you put your database name, depending on the database you used. If you use another name, then you use the another name for it. But if you don't use another name, just use the, the name that maybe if you, if you use WordPress, you put WordPress. If you use uh, maybe Odyssey Junior as your database name, you put Odyssey Junior there. Don't put any other thing apart from maybe don't put WordPress. Why, why you put another database name? So password. We use our we use our username as root. The username is root. Then there is no password here. Yeah? Remove this password. There's no password here. Yeah? So remember the two things you need to put is your database name and the username should be root. So you come down and click on what submit. You are not changing anything. The database host should be local host. Then the table uh, preference should be like this. Then you click on run installation. Then here now you just put anything that you want to do. Maybe now you can write in an e-commerce website. Website. Then username now I can put maybe oh, this is junior. This one now is the one I'm using on I'm using for logging into my WordPress. Then I can just do small. Let me show you. There's nothing. <laughs> I beg. <laughs> I beg. I'm not showing you. Don't, don't, don't mind. I will not show you. So if you are using a weak password like this now, you just have to click on confirm weak password. Then you put email. Let me put something of like this email. Then always remember to discourage search engine. We don't need search engine to index this website because it's on our local disk. Then you come on run installation. You run installation. So you can see it has been installed. Our WordPress has been successfully installed. You can save this and log in. Let's log in. So let's log in. So let's log in. So can you see it now? We are about logging into our WordPress. So that is it. So we have successfully logged in to this WordPress website. So in the next video, I will be using this website to also design an e-commerce or any other website for you. So if you have liked, if you like this video, please share this video, like and subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. To meet again. Bye. Odyssey Junior loves you. So see you in the next video.